a hyena pup, a couple of lion cubs, and a meerkat. Friends? Okay, real talk. Hyenas and lions aren't exactly known for getting along. And under normal circumstances, a meerkat would merely be a snack for these guys. No, this isn't a Disney film. It's Lobie's Predator Park in South Africa. True story. These guys met when they were just babies. Kala arrived as an orphan after her mom was caught in a farmer's trap. Safari and Susie were rejected by their mother at birth. And little Pockle here was found wandering alone without his family. He was very cold. He was almost on the edge of dying. And I pulled him through. He might not be an apex predator like his pals, but you'd have to tell him that. I think Pockle thinks he's in charge. He's rough with them, he likes to play. But if they get rough with each other, like the lion cubs and the hyena, then he will come in between. After a couple sad twists of fate, rather than hunt each other, these would-be foes would sooner share a plate. At least when Pockle has his way. When he's hungry, he will turn around and push his butt towards them. So he's pushing them out of the way so he can eat first. And they must be submissive. Yeah, he's the dominant one. Pockle's become somewhat of an intake coordinator for the sanctuary. When Kala first arrived here alone, it was Pockle who made her feel at home. Pockle! Pockle! Come, Pockle! Pockle and Kala like to play with each other. Pockle likes to jump on top of Kala's on his neck or he will clamp down on him and think he can hold him back. And when activity time rolls around, you can really see the Napoleon complex come out. To stimulate curiosity, the cubs and pup are given large ostrich eggs, and Puckle, the much smaller chicken egg. But of course, the little one wants what the bigger kids have. And what Puckle wants, Puckle takes. Ah, it won't last long. The orphans are growing fast, and soon their predatory instincts may kick in. Puckle's managed to avoid injuries so far, but Kala is starting to try out her strong jaws, which are designed to crush bones. Once she's full grown, her bite will be five times stronger than ours. So just imagine what it could do to a meerkat, even by accident. Meanwhile, the twins will soon be 200 times bigger than Pockle, which means their wrestling days are numbered. In a few weeks, the natural born predators will be relocated to larger enclosures fit for larger carnivores. Carla and the lions and Pockle, they all stay together now. They are friends. But when they're a bit bigger, size is going to be a big issue. They need to go back with their own species, so that's difficult for them to be together forever. Okay, so they're not destined for your typical run-of-the-mill Hollywood ending. But come on, even Disney couldn't script a friendship quite like this.